right, Jenny, can I ask you to move it? Sure. I move Article 4 uh, to the ballot recommended by the Budget Committee, and it's 425 for Sacred Heart Child Benefit Services. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Discussion. Tim? It may not surprise you to know that I've been watching you on TV. No way. Yeah. <laughs> not a lot on it's my duty. I can't say he doesn't have cable. I appreciate it's that. part of my <laughs> life. He must have cable to watch it. I understand that there is like 42 students that we're sending to Sacred Heart School, and that this is what this Warren article is intended to fund or subsidize, put it a different way. That's correct. And that happens to be a number that you can readily absorb into your schools without affecting your existing budget. That's correct. Which is why I asked the question about capacity earlier. How many students do you have that are doing homeschooling? Twenty. Twenty. And there's nothing out They're not coming here for a petition to say, hey, we'd like a subsidy. If they're going to get it at Sacred Heart, we should get a subsidy too. Well, uh, there's a little bit of difference there. Um, homeschool students have access to our curriculum. They have access to our classes. If I'm mm -hmm. a homeschool student and I want to take the uh, Spanish class mm -hmm. at uh, Hampton Academy, I can access that. If I'm uh, interested in band and chorus, I can do that. I can also be a member of the athletic teams and participate in any school activities. The Sacred Heart um, does not have this uh, access? Um, the students individually? They have not. Um, no, do they have it? They, they they would if they didn't have the programs in their school. So they're barred? Well, they're not if they, if they don't have the program. They have, we have, the board could address that issue as a board and allow that. So it's the same with the home school. If the home school was offering that program, they would be barred By from law, well. the home schoolers are allowed that service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This strikes me as a certain degree of unfairness here. That's, that's why I'm concerned about this, so this particular warrant, uh, petition warrant article. Uh, you, you know, Mark is here. Mark Gillis is here. He's the principal at Sacred Heart. Mark, you want to share anything? Any thoughts? I mean, we could you could you come down and share a mic because we can't hear you. Can we grab him at home? Thank you. Nice and warm. Did you notice how quickly <laughs> Nate gave up his seat? <laughs> Welcome, Mark. Thanks, thanks very much. Don't worry, he didn't go right out the door. We <laughs> <laughs> can still see you back there. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, Don't play with this computer. Right. <laughs> so the question is about, uh, is it unfair? But it strikes uh, me as unfair, yeah. and maybe you can educate me as to why it's really not. Well, uh, I guess we, so we have the, this year 42 kids. It's an increase from last year. I think some of the sentiments have been already stated about it is a community, and these are 42 Hampton kids, and for whatever reason, the parents have chosen this. This is going to be a good fit for them. We've had traffic going both ways across our field. Some kids go from Sacred Heart over to Center, and for whatever reason, never, you take it year by year. So I think there's some analogy, say, say with homeschooling, but one difference might be that we have 42 kids in one home school. If you if you've thought of 42 kids in one classroom, yeah. for whatever reason, they've chosen uh, to come to Sacred Heart. So if we have Spanish, which we do, then they wouldn't be able to take Or a sports team. Our kids, we put on our own, you know, ball, baseball team, soccer team. So those kids would not be able to go play because we we offer that service uh, the, uh, at the school. So they're not being denied it at all. They're not being denied. They, well, right. it's, it's all about choice. It's a different program. To your yeah. point, I guess it's choice, and for whatever reason, the parents yeah, the have chosen. Homeschool is made a choice, sure. and they're not getting anything uh, in terms of subsidy for that. They're bearing they get the, the service. They're I guess bearing the, the burden. They get the service. Mm -hmm. If they opt in, they can opt in if they, they wish, in. Right. and it's the same with the Sacred Heart. They can opt in as well, they whether they're not. opting in right. at the Sacred Heart or they can't because it's not at <coughs> Sacred Heart, they can then opt in to SAU 90. They can only right? opt in if Sacred Heart does not offer that program. That's what I just said, right. The homeschool, uh, people who homeschool their children also have the option of writing a Warren article, getting 25 signatures, and presenting it through the process at through the budget committee and town meeting so they I also have that I, option I, I, I acknowledge that and, and I mean that's, a, that's a good that. point that's a good point and you know I'm, I'm not opposed to it but I think that at the very least we should acknowledge mm -hmm. the homeschoolers 20 of them you say right mm -hmm. that are not coming in for a handout well, they're doing they're doing their bit on their own dime for the most part aren't they I mean they get some assistance but for the most part they're doing it on their own dime those that are going to Sacred Heart they want a bit of subsidy 
there's a distinction to be observed here, and that's what I'm doing. So with that, I'll leave it alone, and I, I will vote for it. Let's take a vote. <laughs> I have a question. Um, you answered the number of students this year. Um, we have students from lots of different yes. communities. Um, what other communities that send, or what's the next? Do we have a community that Seabrook sends close to that number of students? Seabrook is second. It seems to sort of go back and forth okay. year to year, but it's about the same, about 40. There is Exeter. And, uh, and do these communities, um, have you put these warrants on their ballots now, and is there any history of them, their town supporting, or? Yes and no. Seabrook, yes. We have. Uh, You've done that now. I we have. We've done it for a couple of years. We're doing the same process this year with Seabrook, and that uh, seems to work out. And uh, Exeter, we have not pursued it. So you're you with the school, is that right? I'm the, the principal of school. I thought I was getting a promotion when you said yeah, 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 so, I'm, so, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm the, the principal So when you say you, we pursue it, you mean the school is pursuing this? Correct. Because this is not a citizen petition, it's a school petition. So citizen, only citizens, as you know, could sign uh, the article right. and present it. So I'm here to speak on behalf of the school. If you know, you know, we could have students, uh, parents who are, are a citizens who are from Hampton sign it, Seabrook <laughs> students sign the Hampton, uh, the Seabrook uh, petition. So this gets out there every year and it passes. Am I yeah. not correct on that? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's been a good relationship. I mean, I think yeah, to summarize, I mean, I think uh, certainly Hampton's good for I us. I we hope we're good for the town. I don't want to you know. be disruptive about an existing process. Sure. It's essentially working, but I think we ought to acknowledge the home schools are doing. Sure. It. They're they're doing their bit, you know, and they're not asking for anything, for the most part. So thank <coughs> you. I have, a, I, have a, I have a question. Sure. The, the parents pay tuition. They do. About how much is that tuition? Uh, five, five, uh, fifty-three hundred or sixty-three hundred okay. per year. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we, our total cost educates about another thousand more than that. And so does the parish that's provide the financial support as well? Yeah. So the uh, students who belong to a parish—that's part of the you know the joke. Do something Catholic, take up a collection. That's. <laughs> That's what that's part is used for helping to stick out the supported rate. So anyone that's welcome to come to Sacred Heart, you know, it could be you could be of any faith or no faith, and the tuition would be sixty three. If you a part of a parish you get that support, that's roughly a thousand. So so uh so have the have the, have the parishioners of Sacred Heart and these other parishes that support your school been asked tithe to support provide additional support? They do. We, people are very generous. The support array, I should clarify, is the <coughs> whole diocese. So we're part of the whole state of New Hampshire, essentially. Right. So they, I don't know if they break it. They, they break it down according to how many students you have uh, per parish. But then there are local groups, you know, uh, Holy Name Society, Knights of Columbus, who help out scholarships. We do our own in-house financial aid. Holy we give a lot of financial aid. And uh, you and I play the same golf tournament every year. To that's right. That's part. That's that's the that, that's, uh, you know, uh, part, okay. part of what that's uh, about. So, and I, I think it's what it comes down to is it seems to be a good thing for the school, even if not everybody uses it. You know, I live in Concord. We have a prison there, and my kids don't use it, and I hope they never will. But I think it's a good thing to have. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, so it, it sounds like the school is pretty well supported. Well. Uh, it's extremely close. There's a lot of support for sure, but we we don't have reserves. We're, we're you know we we are paying back loan. You know overall, it's not as if we are uh, given the number. Of, we've been over about 50 years, so the number of alumni we have. There's a lot of support in that sense, but as uh, as Nate mentioned, you know it's, it's zero budgeting. You start each year, oh, yeah. and it's uh, it's very tight, and, and a lot of the same issues, <coughs> asbestos and trying to raise and healthcare. We're dealing with all the same things. Um, so the the piece, you know, the, the support that we're asking for comes from about, uh, you know, the kids we have. It's about a thousand dollars per per student. You know, that's about. Okay. That's all I have for those Hampton kids. Yeah. I'm curious, what services are you asking the taxpayers to? So there's seven about? categories. So it's uh, she clarify, it's nothing nothing for religious purposes. You know, so the uh, the nurse, the biggest chunk, I think about thirteen thousand for the nurse. Uh, you, you have a nurse currently, right? Yes. And you're paying it currently? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so textbooks, instructional supplies, ed, ed tech, uh, so that's all, uh, 
those are the, the seven categories. Nothing. Now it's not separate. It's not as if you went to the nurse's office, you'd see band-aids for Hampton kids, other band-aids. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but instructional supplies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, other kids. You know, get, uh, I think our kids deserve good band-aids. Yeah, yeah, we want them up to the better. You don't, you don't so, it's, uh, those are the supplies. Think, the only other thing, I, I think I, I would just add, it's important. This is statutorily prescribed in terms of if the community should elect to support this like they have in years past, the uses of the dollars are limited. Yeah. And so every year the school, as a part of the petition process, provides us with a, 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 a an estimate of how they'll spend the dollars. Mm -hmm. So, that, And then we monitor the spending yeah. of those dollars, the superintendent and I, through our, our purchasing system to know that it is spent according to statute. Every purchase we submit it, we don't even, we never see the money. We, we want to buy these textbooks, we want to buy these yeah. band aids. And that's how it works. But you know, the only question I have is, you know, the Constitution says uh, taxpayers uh, have to so support sure. public schools. Is that a lot? Private school. Sure. You know, yeah, and, I, and, I, and all of our Hampton residents yeah. do, and as yeah, I, I do, it's a, it's a good thing. The voters vote for yeah. us. Yeah. Sure. But you don't ask, ask Exeter for any money, you said. Uh, do, they so get, do they get band aids? Yeah. Uh, they get Hampton band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> don't ask, don't tell. We have other band-aids. Uh, yeah. um, no, we haven't. Pr we're, we've, we do talk about that. Uh, yeah. We should you know, look into Exeter. And it's a Is there a reason historically why you don't ask them? So it's, uh, I don't know. This is my third year, so I know there was a tradition. Oh, not a tradition, I should say. But they hadn't pursued it. Uh, so I don't know if it's... I think they just started branching out because it was a request, believe it or not, of this committee a right. few years back no. that if the school was going to ask us in fairness, they yeah. should ask the other communities that had a sizable population. Makes sense, right? I realize that there are some towns that send one student. But let me ask you this. Sure. Um, this basically represents $1,000 a child. That $1,000 reduces that child's tuition by... No. It no. goes into the general. And now how many students are there in Seabrook? About forty. About four and they're also you're also asking them forty thousand for forty thousand? It's at Seabrook's a little less this year because this year uh, Hampton went up from thirty nine to forty two. Mm -hmm. Seabrook dipped under thirty nine, so it's so it's a uh, a decrease. I guess what I'm saying student. is it's still a thousand per student or is it less That's than a thousand? Yeah, it's it's I don't have uh, the, the exact count. Seabrook number, I didn't bring that tonight, but it's it's uh That's the guide you use. Very close. Thousand. It's the same guide, so it's a it's a the tweak uh, is, <coughs> is minimal. So this for Hampton is a point nine uh, decrease per student. But because we have more students, that's what Mm -hmm. yeah, it and up. Stratum, there's how many students? Or Exeter? Stratum is students? close. I'm sorry, Exeter is how many Exeter's students? about, uh, it's about 25 to 30. It varies. Uh, so that's a pretty hefty population yeah. that's not contributing, yet you're saying that this money is basically pooled for the general population of the school. Uh, I go back to my oh. original several years ago that, in fairness to the Hampton community, at least reach out. There's no guarantee sure. they'll approve it, yep. but I would hope that the way you ask us, when you have a sizable population in another town, you would ask them as well. Um, that would be my only request. I think it's a valid point, and I'll, I'll try to get clear about why. I think we were sort of workload, speaking of you know, limited offices. We, we only had so many. We tried, and I think we seem to have a good relationship with Hampton with Seabrook, so I think we're in a place where we could do something like that. I think it's a good point. We're just tired of being the donor town everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should move the question. Yes, I would, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This isn't going to be a second collection on Sunday, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I support moving the question, Madam Chair. Okay. All right. If that question be seconded it, we're moving it for vote. All those in favor of putting this on the ballot. Keep them up for a few minutes. Madam Chairman, do we get heat in this room or is it just... No, we have to pay more. Okay. Um, I guess... Okay. You voted for the heat it through Jenny or... <laughs> no, ever since... I mean, I left Selectman uh, many years ago and we never had heat in this place and it's nice to know that we still don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you just haven't turned it on. Right. Mm. Well, Mr... <laughs> <laughs> Another country heard... <laughs> 
<laughs> remember. Ginny, I'll turn it on at the break. Oh, okay, thanks, Ginny. With, with the budget <coughs> committee, we have to set an example. Austerity. Austerity. Mr. Bean is monitoring it. All right. It, it passes and is entitled at a vote of 9 to 5. Thank you. <laughs>